How's it going, everyone? Uh, we are now going to grab a few items. We have our bonfire here, which is going to be our, our safe spot. It's very nice that it's right here because um, we're going to grab Havel's armor and some sunlight medals. I think that's it. Let me check my guide real quick. Yep, three sunlight medals, Havel's armor, and there's some sylvanite armor we can grab if we really want. So, for this guy, I recommend using Power Within. He'll just kind of stand there until you aggravate him. So I recommend using Power Within. And we can use, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Grass Crest. Um, so we're going to activate Power Within. And then we're going to... 404 damage. 404 damage not found. Um, the, sh the Spear Silver Knights are the most difficult to deal with because they leave their shield up, which greatly reduces. Also, on all these, uh, uh, reduces your lightning damage. Um, so all these chests, again, remember, look at the chain to the side. Make sure that it's curving backwards. That's how you know it's not a Mimic. There, I think, are two or three Mimics around here. Three Sunlight Metals. We will have five. We'll have um, six. We'll have six after we summon Solaire for the... Um, <clears throat> after we summon Solaire for the uh, uh, fight against Ornstein and Smo. Uh, we'll have seven once we summon him for the Centipede Demon. Uh, and then we will uh, just have to farm uh, three more from the shortcut. So, uh, again, we're going to quit and reload to end the effect of Power Within on us and stop straining our health. Just a quick, it, it's just easier to do that than wait, but it's up to you. Because I, I just activated it, you know. Rest here. We are going to kindle this bonfire um, up to... We're going to kindle, uh, kindle it up to 20, 20 SS flasks. That's why we did the right of kindling before coming up here. However, um, don't do that just yet because um, you got a little bit more fighting to do. And so if you fight, die, and then lose your run back to your souls, um, you're going to have a bad time. It's, it, it'll cost you everything. So for these Silver Knights, one boop, two boops will kill them, okay? Uh, there are not very many weapons more powerful than a Zweihander. Um, this door is locked. We can't go through it. But there's Silver Knight armor on the other side. This door. Um, is what we're looking for. Come through here. Havel's armor is down here. There's no enemies to fight, despite how ominous it is. Um... There is, however, a Mimic, and it's the one chest by itself. Um, but also, you can just look at the chains. Chain is moving backwards. It's safe. Chain is moving backwards. It's safe. If you have to fight a Mimic, it's not the hardest fight. Just keep your distance. Lightning bolt him. Ten Lightning Bolts is enough to handle any problem. Uh, there's an Occult Club, which is uh, decent for attacking the Skeletons. I'm not a fan of the Club moveset, so I never use it. You also get... Uh, Havel's Great Shield, that is a useless item, unless you have 50 strike, and uh, you probably will never. Um, <laughs> and um, this is the Occult Great Club, or the Dragon Tooth. Sorry. See how that train's going forward? That means it is a Mimic, so we're not going to touch that guy. Um, oh, and you know what? That's where the Occult Great Club is. If you kill him, you get the Occult Great Club. I don't really think that's a necessary item, so I skip it. And now we have Havel's armor. We have um, we have Havel's armor. We've got our what am I saying? Um, huh. What else did we get? Oh, three sunlight medals. Jeez, I was losing my mind there. Um, I could rest here, but I haven't really taken any damage. Nothing's really happened, so there's no point in respawning that night. Um, Havel's armor looks kind of goofy, but is the by far the best. You can't upgrade the web. Uh, you cannot upgrade the armor, 
And even if you did upgrade a lot of other armor sets, few are better than Havel's. It's got great curse resistance, um, great defenses, uh, super high poise. Of course, you do need Havel's ring for it. We're not going to wear it just yet. We're going to actually switch to a lighter armor. Lighter, lighter, lighter. And, um, oh, sorry. I, I always get thrown off by the fact that the leather top is so tan and the rest are so brown. Um, okay, this is called the, uh, th this, what I'm about to show you is called the, um, uh, on Orlando skip. <clears throat> so you're going to run and you're going to jump like that. Okay. But you need to cut the angle about there. So if you go to the top, um, there's some like coins and stuff in here. You don't, they don't do any good. Don't, don't worry. Uh, don't worry about them. Um, they're for online. I mean, you can grab them if you want, but then you got to deal with a mimic and nobody wants to deal with the mimics. So can be a little tricky. Took me a while to like learn it again because I'm a filthy casual, and this guide is for filthy casuals. Now, as you saw, I jumped closer to the column. I was closer to the column when I jumped than uh, than I was away from it. And jumping close to the column is going to get that going to get that angle that you need to jump off. Now, if we head up here, we'll find the giant blacksmith. We don't need him just yet. Uh, we will find two very hard to beat guards, um, and we will also find another uh silver uh, this one's a black knight archer we can also get the uh dragon bow i uh, don't necessarily need that there's a demon there and you can lightning bolt him to death um you can get the silver knight armor if you come this way and it's behind in that chest um i like the silver knight armor because it looks cool uh, but uh as far as armor goes you really don't <laughs> you really don't need it it was my main armor in my in my uh, first playthrough just because it was so cool um but another reason is if you don't want to do that jump skip um, all the time, you can unlock the door beneath us and do the run that way. But then you got to deal with that other knight every single time. So um, I don't really want to do that right now. So um, anyways, uh, if you don't want to exactly come this way, like right now, I don't want to go fight Ornstein and Smell. I've got to up my, I've got to um, reverse my hollowing. I've got to increase my Estus flasks. Um, and then we're then we're gonna do the the number one hardest fight in all of Dark Souls and ranked one of the hardest fights in all of uh, in all of the FromSoft game series. Um, not the hardest, but just one of the hardest. Um, though some people might argue it is the hardest. Um, but either way, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna do that on the next video. I don't feel like doing it right now, um, which is what I'm gonna recommend. Do not approach this fight if you are not in the mood to do it. Uh, I'm gonna take a break. I've been making a few of these videos. I'm going to watch a uh, show on Netflix, get some food, uh, relax a little bit, and then I'll come back and, and do this. Uh, we are going to easy mode this fight. My recent experience with this fight has been pretty brutal because I've been doing it on New Game Plus runs. Um, and they are they are pretty difficult on New, on new Game Plus runs. But um, my first time fighting them, I never lost. I, I beat them a few times in a row without losing on on. Uh, first uh, first time run throughs for different characters uh, the first time I ever had struggle with them was when I tried to do a 100% pyromancy build um, and that's because I wasn't uh, tanking up enough and I was wearing the uh, crown of dusk which was making the lightning damage that um, Ornstein shoots at you uh, just do so much more damage to me which uh, was a rookie mistake so for now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna head back down to the bonfire if I need to, I'll homeward bone, but I should be able to get, for some reason, there we go. Um, I was going to say, for some reason, I was I was rolling on the ground. Um, but yeah, let's get ready for this fight. I'm going to, I'll show you guys. So, I need to kindle spawn fire three times. So, I'm going to pop some humanity. Uh, I think I could get away with grinding some silver knights here for some more levels. And I would also get humanity for doing that. Um, <laughs> I might even pop the uh, Core of an Iron Golem and some other items to uh, level up uh, my stats a little bit more if I really need to. Uh, either way, I'm gonna use one. Uh, I'm gonna use one twin humanity, one humanity. So 
So that's going bring, to bring me up to a total of four humanity. Okay. It's going to be one to reverse Halloween. Okay. And now we're going to kindle these bonfires. So now we're at 10 Estes Lasks. 15. And 20. Uh, I might not need that with how easy I'm going to make Ornstein and Smell, but I recommend everyone else do it because, again, this is about Dark Souls Easy Mode, and we want all of our fights as easy as possible, which means we're summoning NPCs we don't even need to summon, like when we had Lotrek and Solaire versus the Gargoyles, Iron Tarkus versus the uh, Iron Golem, right? So anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys next time, and we will fight Ornstein and Smell. I'll show you what that run looks like. It's not just a run up to the boss fog and, and run through. There's a little bit of tactics that will make that easier. I'll show you that on the next one. So catch you next time.